Hi everyone, it's me again. And after 19 hours of flight training, so it turns out that my first solo was getting postponed over and over again due to bad weather. And even though some of them got changed to post solo exercises, like diversions and forced approaches, it feels like the cancellations will just never end. So at this point, I just gave up on updating the intro. So this video will be a bit different than the last one, mainly because it's about the actual flight itself. So if you guys got any questions throughout the video, just feel free to comment down below. As for the plan tomorrow, I'm first going to meet up with my instructor for some briefings, then I'm going to do a walk around and hop on the plane with my instructor. Then we're going to do some circuits together, and a circuit is basically flying a rectangular pattern around the airport, which consists of five legs. Until he thinks he's confident enough to let me fly alone, I will then drop him off on the apron and finally do one circuit myself. And yes, that's the solo. So I'm back at the airport and I just want to take this moment to let you guys know that I'm actually nervous about this. Not just because I have to shoot this video, but it's also because of what I'm going to do later. After all, I'm going to be alone in the plane and I will have the full responsibility to take it up and down safely. Which means I am going to prioritize my safety first, uh, and everything else would come second, including this video unfortunately. However, I'll still try my best to make it as informative as possible, so let's see how it goes and we'll start from there. As I start briefing with my instructor, let's do a quick recap on what I've obtained since my first flight in March. I have finished my PPL ground school, which consists of air law, general knowledge, meteorology, and navigation on a PPL level a preparatory ground instruction for my practical flight training, some simulator sessions, and 22 hours of actual flight time. I also got my student pilot permits by writing a P-STAR exam, got a radio license, done my PPL written exam, and finally a pre-solo flight test. And don't forget, I had to take another three courses at U Waterloo. I know that's a lot, but at least it was quite challenging and fun along the way. Now, the briefing's done. So let's move on to the walk around. Then I hopped on the plane. And at that moment, I knew that there's no coming back. And now onto the moment you guys have been waiting for. After dropping off my instructor, I just took a deep breath, got myself and everything prepared and ready, and requested taxi clearance to the runway. So from now on I'm just gonna stay quiet and let you guys watch the rest of my solo. As always, sit back, relax and enjoy the flight. Watch the tower, golf, tango, golf, hotel is holding short of runway 14, ready for takeoff. Tango Golf Hotel, left hand circuit, we take off runway 14. Left hand circuits, we take off runway 14. Golf Tango Golf Hotel. So now we're just flying up the runway. Alpha Tango Pop for the fast night, your 10 o'clock, going northbound. Alpha Tango Pop, load for the test. Alpha Tango Pop at 10 o'clock, half mile, turning north. Alpha Tango Pop. Alright, making sure Alpha X-ray Alpha, the Seminole, two miles ahead of you at 3,000 feet on final. Alpha X-ray Alpha is still lifted. Full power. Full power is set. There's the alive, gauges are green. 15 knots, rotate. And that's my first takeoff. Changing runway we heading. Pitch for 67. After takeoff checks, 
make sure for rich. Beside of airspeed, lights as required. Landing lights and navigation lights are on. 500 feet, that way. Then turn left, turning crosswind. Thousand feet above ground level, level off. Turning down with check right, right, November to November right. Echo in November. Contact your alpha with the traffic. Providing check, primary spark, master is on, make use on both. Lights as required, make sure full rich, cut and pounds. Watch the tower, Golf Hill Golf Hotel is on left downwind when we want four, requesting a full stop. Tank Golf Hotel, stay in the downwind, I'll call your base. Extend downwind, Golf Hill Golf Hotel. Healy Uniform, leave us to land when we want four. Healy Uniform, leave Tango Golf Hotel, number four. Traffic is assessed at 12 o'clock, two miles, turning left space. Advise traffic in sight. Number four, spotting for traffic, Golf Hill Golf Hotel. Tango Golf Hotel, that's Cessna, 11 o'clock, one mile on left base, staying altitude. Starting for traffic, Tango Golf Hotel. Traffic in sight, watch the side with Golf Hill Golf Hotel. Tango Golf Hotel, follow the Cessna, left base, number four. They are on a touch and Number four, Golf Hill Golf Hotel. It's on my left wing, so I should turn base now. Bed right, center left, turn base. Uniform wing back to Alpha contact ground one twenty one off. There's only an alpha twenty one radio one. Alpha twenty one Lunar Tower, Alpha Kilo Hotel, Swing Show at one four, ready for takeoff. Alpha Kilo Hotel line up runway one four. I know for uh runway one four, Alpha Kilo Hotel, Alpha X the Bravo contact ground one twenty one off. Ground one off, Alpha Kilo descending. Way dark, we check for the center breeze. Follow the Tower identified, runway 14, cleared straight in, not below 2,600. Cleared straight in, not below 2,600, we'll be on Fox Hill Kilo. We check, plus 20. Highway 7 is right below me. Lutar, Alpha Kilo Hotel, am I cleared to turn uh, northwest? Alpha Kilo Hotel, you are approved to turn northwest. Alpha Kilo Hotel. The checks, about 30. Same Golf Hotel, click to land runway 14. Click to land runway 14, Golf Hill Golf Hotel. Alpha Kilo Hotel for Northwest, you can go on either side of the approach for runway 14, please don't track outbound on my arrival. Alpha Kilo Hotel. Tango Golf Hotel, exit Alpha, contact ground, 128 went off, congratulations on your first solo. Exit Alpha, contact ground, thank you for uh, the congrats, Golf Hotel. Golf Hotel, And that's it everyone, after 22 hours of flight time, I have reached my first ever milestone in my flight training, my first solo. As you can see, I am really proud of myself, 
celebrating with my instructor and kept thinking about what I just did. Thinking about how I managed to fly a plane alone and to come home and land safely. Of course, there are lots of things that I could have improved on and I am willing to put effort in perfecting my solo circuits because I know that a good pilot is always learning. And when I come to think of it, from my first flight all the way to my first solo, it felt like years had passed when it was just only three and a half months. Yet, this is just the start of my journey and I can't wait to face future challenges and milestones. Even if you encounter turbulence from time to time, with patience, perseverance, and passion, you will eventually fly past it and finally reaching your destination.